know that this is not something to take lightly. While that game might have been at 6 p.m., yeah. people having to drive home, that might have been a scary situation. And that's mm -hmm. going to be the big concern, especially later on tonight. Once the severe weather moves out, we could have trees down, we could have power outages. So probably the right move to just hold off on that game for another week. And if you are going to be out later on this evening, let's say past 4 or 5 o'clock, I really want you to keep on guard for these damaging wind gusts closer to 70, 75 miles per hour along the line of storms itself. But if you stepped outside this morning, you already know it's breezy. We're going to talk more about that in a second, but within that long along that line of storms, I should say, we'll also have that chance for embedded tornadoes and given the amount of wind energy we have to work with today, some of those tornadoes embedded within that line could be a bit strong. Those are our two main concerns with the severe weather potential later on today. And as you look at the way 31 Skycam network right now, it is all quiet. Look at those temperatures though, already in the lower 70s, something you also see peaks of sunshine. The sunshine is not our friend today. That'll just give the atmosphere more fuel to work with that those severe storms can feed off of later on. Now, as we give you the wide view across the southern U.S., here is the line of severe storms. Only one or two warnings with it right now. In fact, a new tornado warning in Louisiana right now, but we do expect this line to intensify as it progresses eastward and eventually moving into parts of western Tennessee and Mississippi early this afternoon and arriving here in north Alabama in that 5 to 7 p.m. time frame starting off in the shoals. So walking you through the afternoon and evening again, many of us are going to stay dry really through around 2 or 3 o'clock and then those storm chances really start to pick back up. We will be seeing severe thunderstorms between 5 and 6 o'clock tonight through around 10 p.m. Then I think by midnight that severe weather threat is done. Look at those wind speeds already again. Non thunderstorm winds sustained 15 to 20 miles per hour across the board. We've seen gusts already this morning around 25 to 30 miles per hour, and that wind will continue to howl all day long. Here's a look at all the wind alerts we have right now. Most of our coverage area is still under that wind advisory in those tan colors. This all goes until 1 a.m. tonight, by the way. So areas east of I-65, you can see those gusts around 45 to 50 miles per hour. Hour. Our purple shaded counties, so Lauderdale, Colbert, Franklin, and Lawrence County, that is a high wind warning, a very rare product to see here in North Alabama. We haven't had a high wind warning here in two years. That is for wind gusts outside of thunderstorms around 60 miles per hour this afternoon. We could easily see power outages before the storms move in and some tree limbs down as well. Let's go through future radar. Three o'clock this afternoon, that line of severe storms right along the Mississippi River. We'll have to watch for a narrow window for supercells possibly developing right ahead of the main line of storms. That's not a guarantee, but if it does occur, we might have our tornado potential go up just a little bit. The main line of storms moves in according to this data source around seven or eight o'clock tonight. I think that's too slow. I expect those severe storms to arrive in the five to six o'clock time frame in the shoals, and then this line will race through North Alabama later on this evening. And like I mentioned a moment ago, that severe weather threat is pretty much over by midnight tonight. Make sure your severe weather plan is ready to go. We talked about it multiple ways. To get those warnings, know where your shelter is. I do expect a tornado watch to be issued this afternoon, and once that's issued, most of the county shelters do open up. Charge up your mobile devices in case you lose power and stay with us here on air and online at waytv.com. We'll have constant updates for you throughout the day today. Seven day short forecast shows a much quieter pattern. Mixed 60s by Thursday, staying in the mid 60s Friday with another small shower chance this weekend.